Many retail e-commerce sites have been looking to add attribute led navigation to make it easier for customers to find the products they're looking for. In this demonstration, we're going to look at how attribute led navigation can be added to broad vision applications. In this example, we're using the standard C3 sample data that's provided with broad vision 8, but have added over 400 extra products, which are music CDs. The application we're using is broad vision portal 8 with shopping services, but the same approach can be applied to commerce 7. Typically, sites have allowed users to find products through two routes, either searching or browsing through categories. So first of all, let's look at a simple category browse. We'll select the equipment category and then the phones category. This is okay for a small number of products, but doesn't work so well when there are a lot of products in the same category. And of course, not everyone will expect to find products in the categories they've been put in. So going back to the top level, we can see there are 432 products in the music category. In the data used in this example, we don't actually have any subcategories within music, so when we browse the category, we've configured attribute-led browsing based on data in the product record. Here we've configured two attributes to browse by, genre and price range. If we browse into the rock genre, we can now browse by artist, by year or by price. Let's choose 1970s. As we browse through the products, we show the choices made in the breadcrumb at the top of the page. So if we change our mind and want to look for 1980s music instead, we can remove the previous selection and choose again from the list. Or we may choose to go back and browse by artist and then by year. This is the advantage of attribute-led navigation. It allows the user to find products through several different routes, not just a static category structure. We can also combine searching and browsing. So let's go back to the top again. We're looking for a CD by Chris Rea, but we're not sure what it's likely to be filed under. So first we select the music category, then we search for Chris Rea, and now we can continue to browse by genre as there are several different genres listed for this artist. Of course, we need to be able to configure the attributes that can be used at each level of the tree. So let's look at the classical music category. For the classical CD data, we've got the composer stored in the same field as the artist for other music. When we're logged on as an admin user, we can browse the products as normal, but we have an extra configure button. When we go into configuration mode, we specify the database attributes this category should be browsable by, the labels we want to give these attributes, and the sort order to use. So here we're going to change the label to Composer, and let's change the sort order to Alphabetic. In admin mode, the Add to Cart button changes its function and sets the product to promote in this category. We click Update Config and save the configuration. Now we can see that the artist attribute is renamed to Composer and is now sorted alphabetically. Let's look at an example of adding an attribute. In the services internet category, we have products for high speed and low speed dial up. For these products, the app def3 attribute in the database contains data indicating the relevant connection speed. So we'll open the configuration window and specify the app def3 attribute with label connection speed. We'll set the promoted product to be the one gig DSL. So far, we've just been looking at browsing as an anonymous user. For registered users, we can combine these techniques with the visitor profile to further enrich the user experience. When we browse to a particular point in the tree, we can save the search. Then, wherever we else we browse to, we can quickly jump back to the saved place. We can also set an alert on the search so that any new products added that match this search can be emailed to the customer. Or alternatively, they could choose to get the new product details as an RSS feed. Also, we can keep track of recently viewed products. When the user clicks to go back to one of these, we can also restore the original context in which they found the product. So to summarize, attribute-led navigation is important because it enables users to find products through a variety of routes, not just a static category structure. And combining this with the Broadvision visitor profile further improves the user experience by providing rapid access to frequently used searches and mechanisms for alerting customers to relevant new products.